I'm Bex Thompson from Zen Physio Yoga Conscious Health and today we're looking at a physical practice to help us manage our stress called legs up the wall. Now before I show you there are a couple of contraindications to this. Generally if you're pregnant please don't do this pose unless you've consulted myself or another yoga therapist. If you have high blood pressure or are menstruating it's usually okay for you to put your legs up the wall on the floor but don't elevate your hips. If you have any neck issues, again, word of caution, it's best to consult a professional. So it's very good this pose for managing stress, but the particular kind of stress when we're feeling up, the kind of anxious stress, not so much the depressive sort of stress where things are a little bit low, but more the energy is up, the temper's maybe getting a bit flared, you're getting a bit irritable, or you're exhausted. So very good for recovering from heat stress which at the moment some of us may be. So it's a cooling pose, cool the temper, cool the mind, cool the body. Great mid-afternoon pose with the kids when you come home from school. We use that one a fair bit. So let's show you, we're sitting sideways on the wall and the bolster's about a hand's width from the wall, but our bottom is sitting right up by the wall. We spin our legs up and come down. It can take a little bit of practice. The buttocks and legs are touching the wall and the hips are sort of draped over the bolster. Find an arm position that works for you and then bring your awareness into your body or into your breath to really deepen the effect of the practice. Your neck wants to be comfortable as does all the other parts of your body. This is a restorative practice so you want to feel like we can completely relax and let go. And you stay here as long as you feel comfortable. When you come down Bring yourself off to the side nice and slowly, letting your blood pressure come back to normal. And then just take a few moments. You can use the Psalm of Ritti breath that we practiced in the last video. Just to come back to a sense of real groundedness, as well as clarity and the ability to move on with a bit more dynamism in your afternoon and a bit more balance. So it's an everyday practice. I invite you to incorporate it into your day each and every day and see the benefits. Enjoy.